I'm Sim Tech, military analyst at Stratfor, and with me today is Mark Schroeder, our Vice President for Africa Analysis, and we'll be talking about recent events surrounding the Boko Haram insurgency in northern Nigeria. So Mark, just in the last few days, we've seen several attacks in Maiduguri up in, up in Borno State. We've seen attacks going into Cameroon over the last few weeks. And, and then we've seen Boko Haram militants push Nigerian military out, out of a base uh, up, up near Lake Chad. What is actually going on there and, and how, how much does this matter to the Nigerian government? So Boko Haram, you're absolutely correct, has been conducting a, a, a fairly intense uh, insurgency operation still largely concentrated in northeastern Nigeria. We have seen a few operations across the border into Cameroon, uh, in the extreme north of Cameroon. Uh, Boko Haram is still a threat to expand its operations outside of northeastern Nigeria to other regions of Nigeria. But you're absolutely correct that that Boko Haram has waged a, a very intense insurgency, and the Nigerian government and its military has really struggled uh, to counter the militant group. Well, why is it that the, the military struggles? Is, is this directly related to the, the role that the northeastern region of Nigeria plays for the government? Or, or are there, there other causes at play here? Well, the Nigerian military has struggled with funding and political support from the federal government of Nigeria. And the government has really struggled to provide sufficient financing to provide the the military equipment, weapons, ammunition, more advanced platforms to the military to combat Boko Haram. And the criticisms have been that in the absence of sufficient support by the by the Nigerian government towards its military, Boko Haram has actually been a superior fighting force in terms of weapons and ammunition and and, and supplies uh, in fighting the, uh, the the Nigerian military uh, and government in the northern part of the country. So one one of the major things that we're looking at when we're talking about anything taking place in Nigeria right now is is of course. Uh, the timing. So we're just a month before national elections where uh, current president Goodluck Jonathan will be running against Buhari, uh, a candidate from the north. Um, How does all of this play out um, in in relation to Boko Haram and and other potential militancy issues in Nigeria? Yeah, that's a very important factor that that you bring up. With national elections taking place just uh, one month from tomorrow, in fact, uh, incumbent president Jonathan is standing for re-election. It's a controversial re-election campaign, given certain understandings and oppositions to uh, Good Luck Jonathan, largely in northern Nigeria. Uh, but how that plays out in terms of Boko Haram and the insurgency, uh, the the Jonathan government has really not emphasized a very strong response or a very efficient response to Boko Haram. It obviously has you know, the whole of Nigeria that it is responsible for, the, the Jonathan administration, and it has uh, priorities in other parts of the country that are more important economically. Uh, despite the threat by Boko Haram in northeastern Nigeria or northern Nigeria more generally, uh, this part of the country really lacks any meaningful economic infrastructure to it, unlike southern Nigeria, where all of the oil and gas is, where the commercial capital, Lagos, is located. You know, the kind of the absence of an efficient response to Boko Haram by the Jonathan administration uh, will kind of continue if Jonathan uh, were to be reelected. However, you bring up the candidacy of Muhammadu Buhari, a northerner uh, Nigerian, a former military ruler, a former general, And it would be expected that if Buhari is elected president of Nigeria in next month's election, he would command a much more efficient response to the Boko Haram threat. So assuming that we see a really close contested election um, with with allegations over over the legitimacy of the the elections based on, on no votes being able to take place in the Northeast, um, how would that, uh, that potential security fallout or, or political fallout directly affect uh, efforts against the Boko Haram insurgency or, or potentially affect Nigeria as a whole? Mm-hmm. No, that's, that's a good question. In the first place, uh, you know, we have to look for 
the degree of political will to counter Boko Haram. And if the Nigerian government and politicians are distracted by contests over the election, there's going to be less will, less attention towards countering the Islamist militant group. Uh, and, and, and these concerns could play out for, for a long time. And, and Boko Haram, if, if no checks are placed on them, and if there is no political will to counter Boko Haram, then we have to expect that the militant group will continue to intensify and expand its insurgency. Thank you. That was very interesting. Sadly, that's all we've got time for. But if you wish to find out more about these issues, please visit Stratford.com.